piece was disturbing uh, in that uh, it talks about potential weaponization of technology, secretive company. What should people know about the company after they read this piece? Well, what you should know is they're working with law enforcement and they're making for a safer, better society. It's interesting, on your um, show today, you were talking about being TikTok famous, and then the CEO of Intel was talking about autonomous vehicles, artificial intelligence. And what that really tells you is that there's an explosion of digital photography. There's an explosion of images all over the Internet. And while you can Google words or you could use the Shazam Music Act to recognize voice, what what you can now do is use the Clearview app to recognize photos. So you can Clearview someone and find all the places on the internet where that photo shows up. And that's the power of the internet, the power of sharing information. So your point is we're already there. All these fears about privacy going away, it's essentially been eroded in audio and soon in, 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 video, in visual form. Absolutely. It's been the story of human history. Humans are social and they share information. And now through the internet and digitization, that information is being created and shared like never before. We have autonomous vehicles. We're going to have drones flowing, flying over our heads. We have cell phone data. We have credit card data. All that information is readily available, let alone voter registration records and property taxes and, and uh, background checks. That information is becoming more and more available. So what people need to fight for is not so much anonymity or the ability to be hidden, but the ability to be left alone. And that's what we need to focus on with our governments is, while you may know what I'm doing, don't bother me. Let me just live my life freely. I'm, I'm almost with you. Okay. Because in a way, this seems no different than fingerprints or driver's license photos if it's law enforcement that has access to them. But sure. once it's any company that can run a search on a face and start offering that as a service. Oh, not only can I see that there's somebody at my door, but I can get a pretty good sense of who that might be. That gets weird. So should there be restrictions on who gets access to these kind of privacy destroying algorithms and technologies? Well, remember, most people put information on the internet because they want to be found. They don't want to be private. By Law somebody, but not necessarily by everybody. By most people, actually. You know, you, you have your own Twitter profile. You have your work uh, website, which shows your face. Maybe I want to be found on Twitter, but maybe you, you I don't, don't want to go to my neighbor's <laughs> door or, and have them know exactly who I am. Well, if they, if they take a picture of you and it shows your work um, profile, I don't think that's a problem at all. I think that makes for a safer, more connected society. What it does is it increases transparency. And when you increase transparency, you increase trust. When you increase trust, you actually increase the likelihood of more meaningful relationships. So actually sharing information, understanding who we each are, I think actually brings for a more connected society. It's a better society. Are you investing because of the potential good in fighting crime or what have you, or just because it's a, you see a, a ten-bagger in, in, in the offing? Well, it's, it's certainly both. You, do, you can do well by doing good. It's not one or the other. We have investments in food technology companies like Plenty, which is bringing fresh and nutritious fruit, or uh, companies like Ecospears, which are bringing clean water. So Clearview is doing social good and helping people. And yes, I think, you know, Google has made a lot of money by indexing the web by word searches. Clearview is going to do the same thing by indexing the web with facial recognition and picture searches. But couldn't this go south? I mean, when you say transparency is good, yeah. often it is. Uh, it reminds me of Facebook saying that connecting is good and sharing is good, but not always. What if there are people who are wrongly convicted of crimes or have rehabilitated and now they're walking down the street, a store camera picks them up, identifies them, and they don't want to let them in because they had a misdemeanor uh, when they were, you know, 20, 20 years ago. Could it lead to judgment without context? Do there need to be some limits on this? Well, I think there needs to be laws around that stuff. Absolutely. There should be statute of limitations about how data can be used now, information. So the solution to the problem you pose is not to limit facial recognition, but rather to prevent discrimination, to uh, um, be left alone by government and not to have a repressive government. Although not all, not all governments are going to behave the same. Un unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. but when we come together, when we know who our neighbors are, we're actually stronger than if they keep us separated and alone.